All right, hello, hello. This is a pick a character, pick a card message. Uh, thank you all so very much. Uh, check the comments, that's where I do timestamp to jump to the second. So in this video, we have number one is the genius, the bearer of gifts, extraordinary intellect, innovative mind, exceptional ability. Number two is gonna be the diviner, or diviner, however you want to say, the seer of the unseen, the foresight, insight, and cosmic connection. Um, I do have to say, this is, you know, how I do it. Uh, Aquarian energy was coming through really strongly. I, I saw, and some Virgo energy, actually. Um, 8.30, 8.26 for Virgo energy. Maybe potentially a little bit of Leo. Um, maybe i'm on maybe libra energy too um but aquarian energy i saw 208 211 209 209 twice so uh that's kind of why i said that here anyways let's just jump into it if none of those are your signs or those dates mean nothing that's okay um it might be it's for specific people and thank you all once again and check out my channel for other videos uh, for your monthlies and other pick a card, pick a crystal messages. So diviners number two, I'm going to set this off to the side and we're going to jump into pile number one. I have no clue what are in here. I do these um, randomly. I usually set up about eight different sets, kind of, um, you know, blinded by, uh, I don't see what cards are going in. I know what decks, uh, but other than that. And this is my second, yeah, yeah, second set. So it's been fascinating with this particular round. Anyways. Let's go. So if you're drawn into the genius card, this could be, take it how it resonates, right? You can be, um, you can be the genius, okay? Uh, or you could be dealing with someone with this capability. You can see there's all these, like, I always see it as coding and stuff like that. Maybe that's why even Aquarian energy, but I didn't uh, try and pull it in. Um, man. Anyways, let's just see what's underneath here. There are other characters. Um some of the stuff that was coming through, through some of the names were, it was Micah for sure. Micah, um, uh, feminine and masculine. Um, Steven, Steve, there was another, ah, well, and it doesn't have to be any of those. Um, I was just, oh man, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it unless the cards say. So, uh, first and foremost, the genius, we have mindful messages in this. Ooh, I'm like, how am I going to do this? I think we're going to put the genius, let's put the genius here because I think there is going to be another character that comes through. I'm going to see, these are hidden truth oracle messages regarding a relationship. Someone maybe you're thinking of, right? Who's on your mind, vice versa. You are them thinking of you and the hidden truth. Uh, I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay, that's the first message. I bury myself in work to forget you. Um, make sure you can see these. I'm going to make sure you got to double check the camera here. Let's see your next one. Oh, we both know I am not the one for you. Okay. Bury myself in work to forget you. We both know I am not the one for you. And I wish I had treated you better. Okay. So those are these relationship messages or thoughts um, regarding uh, someone in your life, right? Wish I treated you better. We both know I'm not the one. Okay, let's see. Uh, timing on a Tuesday. No way. We're going to get some bold Tuesday messages. Today is Monday that I'm doing these. These are timeless messages, but I do share the timing. Um, it's Gemini 617 season when I'm doing it. But uh, so Tuesday, something going on. <laughs> I don't know. Where should I put this? I think I'm going to set it here. I don't know all these, uh, all the cards, right, that are going to be in here. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, these are your angel messages. Ooh, 2020 bonds. I bury myself in work to forget you. Um, this came in reverse. So these do have reversal messages. So this is even a heart bond. Maybe something about 2020. This is uh, 2020 in reverse, maybe. Hmm, 0202. Okay, we're going to find out why. Here's the other character. Fireman. Okay, wow. Rescue, brave, heroism, sacrifice, and extinguishing. So I'm going to set the fireman here. Actually, I'm going to let him flow in order. This is different. Hmm. Messages of Cosmic Oracle cards. 
Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. Mm. So this is overcoming regret even, you know, or don't focus on the, the bad, the negative things. This even says, like, I wish I treated you better. So there is, like, a regret of behavior and the way someone treated. Okay, gemstone whispers, magic, selenite. Wow. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Hmm. Interesting. The selenite was brought up in several of the different videos. So, um... Maybe if you're drawn in, I definitely, there's a been about cleansing things. Okay, we have the uh, Bold Tuesday messages. You know what you want in life? You know which opportunities you need. You know they don't always come when you need them. Brainstorm five ways you can create opportunities for yourself, by yourself. Don't wait for opportunities. Create it. So creating it, taking the action to create this opportunity. You know what you want. You know which opportunities you need. You know they don't always come when you need. Five ways. Hmm. Brainstorm five ways you can create opportunities in your life. Okay, need a boost of confidence? Before doing something, do the Wonder Woman pose. <laughs> Stand up with your hands on your hips and breathe deeply. So actually there is that sense of confidence. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's sending up straight. Hmm. Actually, you can create it. Okay, I don't know what this is about. I'm just going to set them there. Um, and your skill only takes you halfway there. Your will takes you all the way there. So there's skills, especially, you know, regardless um, of whomever in this, right? A fireman, bravest, skills, sacrifice, heroism, rescue, extinguishing, fires, right? And then over here, a genius with like coding or something. Um, a lot of, you know, knowledge, wisdom, bear of gifts, intellect, exceptional mind. Your skill only takes you halfway. Your will takes you all the way there. Your willpower is a muscle. It needs training. Start today. Try meditation and regular physical exercise. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Now, your two mindful messages are dance it out. So even using, so this is exercise, physical exercise. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I'll play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel the stress of heaviness begins to ease out of my body. All right. So even regarding the music, moving your body, because it is saying... Uh, you know, get physical exercise, meditate. So there's this, this downtime of meditation, right? And then movement to move the energy. I'm going to put that one there. Let's see what your last one is. Follow my joy. Today, I will write down 10 things I enjoy doing. The things that make me feel good and raise my mood. Then I'll pick one or as many as I feel guided to and go do it. When I'm having fun and enjoying life, I'm in a state of allowing for all I desire. Wow. So, even something about Tuesday. <laughs> and then the bold Tuesdays. Maybe you're getting it on the Tuesday, but maybe those are important. I don't know. Just the time of taking this action. I'm going to find out why these bonds. 2020 in reverse. Okay. I opened it up to 202. Staying the course. Okay. Um... Interesting enough, I do see some Taurus energy, potentially, or Virgo with this. And Aquarius, maybe this is February even, right? Um, a lot of Taurus I, I, um, kind of pop up with this. 5-4, five, 5-5. Five, five. And then we've got 9-6, okay? Every problem I encounter has a solution is your affirmation. 2002, or excuse me, 20... 20... I see 2 2, two so and 12, 12. So, uh, as I'm shifting through the book... There could be also Capricorn, more Taurus, uh, Scorpio. My higher self is holding my hand. Partnership. So interesting over here, there is still, like, there is a partnership, right? These firemen work together as a team. And they protect, they, they protect each other, at, you know, as well. Um, 
Hmm. Very interesting. Fireman. Okay. I'm getting to the 2020. <laughs> In reverse, this said there is miscommunication, crossed wires, even misinformation, illusions, and fakes, lack of community, isolation, and destruction. 111. Ooh. I bury myself in work to forget you. Hmm. So normally, you know, it says things are looking up. You've been focused on building a strong foundation and it shows. That's if it's upright. So it's showing that there's miscommunication even. Like I see lack of communication even. Bury myself in work. Misinformation even. Lack of feeling community. Isolation and destruction. And the weirdest thing, so I did, like I was saying, I actually saw a miswiring, um, crossed wires even. I don't, oh my goodness, what in the world? Ooh, that could create fire. You understand, like an electrical fire even or something weird like that. Um, but it could be miswiring, even in the synapses, in the code, in the brain. I don't know. I'm just getting something like this. Hmm. All right. So those, so those are your messages. Um, let's get a few. I'm going to get just a few charms with this one. I don't have that many charms left in my little stack. So we'll see. I'm going to uh, bring them back all up into play. But let's see. Um, close my eyes and I'm going to sprinkle some over here. Genius. The feet. Two feet. Ooh, unicorn and fish. Oh, that one. What's that? Oh, there is two hearts. Connected on Tuesday. A star over here. Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. I wish I'd treated you better. Don't wait for opportunities. Create them. The flower. Oh, the little heart. What is this? Kisses. Little kisses. Okay, we got a fish. So maybe a fisherman too. Fish. To me, this looks like maybe it could represent Pisces or there's something about fishing. Mm. You got the unicorn, the gold unicorn. Unicorn's been coming through a lot. And a tiny little lips, little kisses, bravery. And then this heart has the moon and the star and the planet in it. Jupiter, wisdom. Hmm. I, I know this is different, but I'm I, I like I said I'm seeing a lot of Aquarian energy, but also maybe Piscean. Um, what else is this? Maybe Sagittarian or Capricorn, because we also have it's like inside the heart. So Venus could be Sagittarian. I don't know what I'm telling you. Venus is, and uh, Venus could be Aquarian. Venus could be, uh, Cancer sign, Pisces. Let's see this bonds. This one miscommunication. Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh, this one's straight up a Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. It's so something to do with Hello Kitty. Okay, and over here is a star, which is represents even hope and healing. The stars, to me, a star represents, uh, you know, <laughs> seeing the stars, the cosmos. This is the cosmic, but uh, it could be Aquarian energy too. And then we have the beautiful little golden flower. Don't wait for an opportunity. You got to plant it and the magic. And then the genius had these two feet. And so maybe I'm pulling a lot of Pisces. Something about taking care of your feet, even different sizes of feet. Walking in someone else's shoes even. Oh no. Two feet and then they, you got two. These two feet are connected. There's two feet. I don't know. Maybe you need to give two feet. <laughs> uh, and the dancing, right? Dancing it out. Okay, I put that by this genius energy. Maybe there is uh, exceptional ability even with you're gifted in dancing. Um, and then there's the hearts and there. It's so interesting. It's I'm seeing it as one smaller than the other. Huh. All right, guys, that one, uh, I mean... I just make the messages. I put them out there. Um, take it how it resonates. Uh, this one is interesting. That's all I have for it at this point. Check out my channel or your uh, rising sign, moon sign, sun sign messages for the month. 
and see if there's other clarification or guidance if if this makes any sense to you right if not let it be i don't understand uh i mean i do it's pretty clear there is a sense of focused on work to forget instead of uh dealing with it maybe the little tiny kisses though golden kisses maybe they send little kissy emojis or i mean there's <laughs> there's kisses there so and there's a heart hmm so i don't know okay okay let's move on to the diviner or the diviner okay and see what we got in here at 1534 the diviner seer of the unseen foresight insight and cosmic connection uh i think i'm gonna set that over here we have all is okay so mindful messages cosmic connection right although excuse me all that i feel is okay i hold myself in love weird i was just realizing so in that last one i didn't get because i'm remembering now i for some reason another relationship message didn't come forth um hmm i think that was all you needed i guess or if you um watch all the way through i don't know why i'm just recognizing that i'm bringing it up I'm like oh I'm noticing that there wasn't a particular card that I have been putting in the piles. So that one was a little different. So I'm going to, I like flipping it this way. All right. And let's see what's hidden. I feel you, even though we are apart. Oh, so there is this connection of sensing each other, feeling each other, really in tune. I lost myself for a little while. Mm. I lost myself for a little while. There's this one song about that. I lost myself. I can't think of it right now. I want to tell you how I feel. This is all about feeling. Even feeling a little, little lost. This is the timing at sunrise. Wow. So getting up, sunrise, early morning. I'm going to move these down a little bit. Actually, see, these are so different. I don't really know how to place them. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, ah. I'm going to put it this way. I want to put the character over here. So at sunrise, seer of the unseen. If you're even born at sunrise, I feel like some of you, you know what I mean? Or you're getting up at sunrise to get this clear <sighs> peacefulness. Um, seeing the sunrise. A sunrise represent new beginning, new day. Um, but I feel like the weirdest thing is because if you're into some of this stuff and Zodiac and stuff in your birth charts, I feel like it's specific of being born at sunrise or, you know, more early morning. But at the same time, it could just be seeing a beautiful sunrise, being up in time to see the sunrise. That's your timing. 88, a reward. Wow, this is about abundance even. Uh, even though this is your uh, angel number 88. Um, I do pull these in sometimes as birth years, uh, birth dates, but this can also represent abundance and infinity for your work, right? So maybe there's even some Leo or uh, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be that. I'm just pulling it in. I feel you, even though we're apart. This reward. Okay, let's see this next character. A drunkard. Oh my goodness. Alcoholism, addiction, avoidance, or abuse. Hmm. I lost myself for a little while. Maybe it is an addiction. Drinking. You know, have you guys ever seen Dr. Sleep? It's like the second of, you know, of The Shining. <laughs> and if not, I mean, it kind of made me think of that a little bit. Because in that, he's like kind of a drunkard. Because <laughs> um, of what he's seeing or when, you know, I don't know, his energetic connection. Hmm. I lost myself. So interesting. Let's see what the message of the cosmic thing says here. Your life is so special. Treat it with loving care. I want to tell you how I feel. This one make me feeling like I'm going to cry all of a sudden when I saw that your life is so special. Treat it with care. Wow. I need to share something. Um, 
regarding the drunkard. Because there's just, mo just recently, you know, this is a... <sighs> mm. Abuse. All these A's. A, 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 A. You know, and the yellowing. The liver. Um, You need to... Like, this is actually horrible death. Understand, like, alcohol. Someone recently, uh, in my little circle of, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't super close, but, um, did pass. And it was horrific. And it is from alcoholism and drinking. So, gotta be, I mean, addictions can be overdoses, anything, right? Pills. Things you get from the doctor or mm. wow. Um, but it's not like you just lay there and pass out. No, you're going to I'm just like this is scary, and that's why we gotta talk about it, because um like you literally will throw up everything out of your body, blood, your organs. It's just a horrific, horrific death. Um so keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of people in our in our society, in our world, have passed because of things like this. Okay, your life is special. Treat it with loving care. Gemstone and Whisper Deck. Malachite. Wow, judgment. Hmm. This says reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hope. Hmm. Malachite. This is about heart healing. Too. I'm noticing uh, the sphere, like even this. You notice that this is a, a beautiful sphere. She has like the crystal ball in her hand. This planet here. Uh, maybe I will bring up some other spheres when I'm looking at this. Right now, I just have this rainbow fluorite here. Malachite. Hmm. This is a toxic stone. Uh, I mean, if you're, you probably already know that. So you wash your hands. You don't put this in water. You don't put it near your mouth. Keep it away from children or pets. All that good stuff. Um, but it does represent safe travels over ocean. Um, and heart healing. Cause, right, malachite. Let's get your bold Tuesdays. If cauliflower can become pizza. You, my girl, can do anything. Gross cauliflower pizza. Ask a friend to be your confidence buddy. This is someone who will be there for you when you need a boost. Mm. Cauliflower can become pizza. So I'm thinking the cauliflower crust pizzas. I attempted to make that one time and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> it was not worth the effort. No, I don't, because I think about that. So whatever that brings to mind, it's it's healthier, you know. Gluten free, maybe gluten free is important. Okay, sometimes you have to give yourself pep talks, like "Hello, you are a badass woman. Don't be sad. You got this, and I love you." You know, and these do talk about. It says, "Girl, these are for the boss girl." But you know what? Regardless of your your gender. We, I understand men also, and boys can feel this too. Um, so, don't be sad. You got this. I love you. That's even telling yourself that. Giving yourself a little pep talk. Get in front of a mirror and give yourself a proper two-minute pep talk. Some prompts. What do you love most about yourself? And what are you most proud of? What are you best at? Wow. There's one more relationship message here and then a couple mindful messages. I am their light. Oh my gosh. I am their light. Look at this. The fireflies. To me, that always is like creative spark. I am their light. This is an, uh, this is an affirmation as well. So this is a relationship message. Huh. All right. Where is that? This one. Um, and two mindful messages. An inspiration board. You can do it. <laughs> Love. 
if I'm ever feeling down or bored. I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. Wow, okay, I'm gonna set that here. I gotta move this one over here. I feel like that's, um, and an inspiration board even. You know what the weirdest thing is? So when we talk about manifesting your dreams and all and visualizing and da da da, all of these things were kind of already like into in play. I feel like for anything, like um, you know, making up a big collage of things in the world that you are fascinated with or that you like, or I mean, depends on where you are and who you are. <clears throat> um, you know what I mean? Uh, but this is kind of a, a start of it. Love. You can do it. Wow. Okay. I am their light. The sunrise. The sun rises. This always makes me feel of like true faith. And uh, I think it's new order. Truth, faith, new order. The morning sun is my drug. That's a beautiful song. From the childhood I lost. It's a... That's what it makes me think of. And all is okay. All that I feel is okay. I hold myself in love through the unsureness, the worry, doubt, anger, fear, anxiety, rejection, or overwhelm. I am thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads me to my higher expansion. Wow. So those are all of the beautiful messages that were in your pile for the diviner, the diviner. Let's see what this reward, this 88 is. And maybe there is someone in your life, right? And I mean, um, it could be, you could have, this could be you as well. Um, and different, you know what I mean? Everybody has something that they struggle with addiction and things can be other things but it is really about there is why I bring you in Pisces energy because it does represent now you don't they don't have to be Pisces but that drunkenness um uh you know what I mean um illusion addictions hmm. but it is abuse of it so and this is a sense of avoiding the issue, right? Avoiding. But something, um, there's something deeper in there that there's something, you know, the person is, hmm. Because this becomes different from celebrating, you know? So also reserving judgment, right? It's, <laughs> is because... You don't know sometimes um, what it is that pulls you into these things. Hmm. I've had a lot of people in my life, though, that have have passed, even from uh, from oxys, ODs, uh, and others that just struggle with it, being in and out of jail. And then you get the ones who are functioning. <laughs> All right, the reward here, 88. I opened it up to 333 and uh, 6263. Express yourself, darling. This is a hug of encouragement and a resounding yes from the universe to keep going, to live your life exactly as you want to. Trusting your intuition and being your best, most confident self takes creativity and real tangible efforts. Good thing you're blessed with an incredible reservoir of inner strength. Opportunities are attracted to ingenuity and courage. Um, wow. So also eight, nine, nine, eight. Hmm. That's what I open it up to. Okay. I like to share that. And now I see, I see seven, seven, nine, nine, but we're going to eight, eight. Um, so that's 16, seven. I see seven, 10, seven, 11, four, six, four, seven, 46 and 47. Um, success and prosperity ahead. Manifestation of rewards for your hard work. A green light to continue your current path. Check in on where you're placing your energy. Hmm. 
The affirmation says, I am working toward a more relaxed life. This beauty is quite the blessing. Do a quick vibe check. Where are you investing your energies and attention? Where, where, you, where you place your focus is the area in which you'll be seeing incredible growth and abundance. It's all connected and it all loops back around. You'll be seeing an increase in wealth if you put in the work, whether that's on a material level or a more spiritual scale. Keep going. Wow. Wow. So those are your messages. This is actually a really beautiful message, even with, um, you know, even with this card. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I think this is something that a lot of people... Uh, uh, social norms uh, can push people into this. And then when they see, you know what I mean? Go out socializing, have a drink, uh, or go to the doctor and get this pill. or And then, and then once someone is, uh, you know, overdoing it, they immediately get pushed out like, and... There's a real hypocritical thing. People are like, oh, they'll drink or they'll do other things, but you're the one who has the problem. Because I don't need to all that time, you know? And so that's the recognizing um, this person, there's something deeper, right? And the person also has to want to change and heal. Um, and for me, dealing with uh, addictions, to me, addiction, uh, there's a lot of hedonism with it too, pleasure seeking. Um, or a desire to avoid, right? Um, what else do I wanna? Huh. Um, telling yourself you can't ever again um, have something, it makes it even more hard to just uh, I don't know. I mean, clearly there are certain things that are so addictive that there is like never again. But, um, you know, you have to know yourself and take accountability and responsibility. Um, but you can't control others too. And that's, um, yeah. All right. Let me get just a few. Uh, like I said, there's only a few of these left, so I don't know how much they'll resonate, but I've been having fun finishing up with some charms for this. The Diviner here, uh, 88 Abundance. Oh, I got a camp, something about camping, um, or a summer camp, <laughs> Drunken All, Snowflake. There is, this is a romantic person potentially because I do see love there with it. Maybe there's even tattoos of things like this. Why is it snowflake? Um, and no, and a little fox. Hmm. Okay. Another snowflake. Why are we getting snowflakes? Whoa. Okay. What's over here? Oh, the dragonfly inside. The dragonfly. This is, I have very few dragonflies. You know, there's butterflies. Um, wow. It was sitting right here in her crystal ball. I don't know. You see this? Let's see what else. And then the seashell. This one is a flat shell, though. Um, it has light purple and white stripes on it. So maybe it's even a painted shell or something like this. A fan, even. Oh, my goodness. And then this reward is camp. Like, maybe you're... Uh, how weird is this? This is kind of weird. Like, it's a sign that shows the camp sight this way camping it makes me think of like i know this is weird but like friday the 13th or whatever <laughs> crystal lake okay there's a couple no way you get the mermaid oh okay um i want to tell you how i feel mermaid and a beautiful gold leaf interesting so these are timeless right um, and I'm doing it, like I said, in June, but I've got two different snowflakes and each snowflake, snowflakes are unique, right? You are so special. Treat your life is so special. Treat it with loving care. Um, so maybe, um, I'm see also potentially autumn, right? Cause this gold leaf, 
I'm pulling a lot of fall and winter time messages. Hmm. This is a beautiful love. Maybe I feel like someone even has maybe a tattoo with the heart and love on it with the arrow through it, you know. Camping. Huh. Snowflake and a mermaid. I want to tell you how I feel. So, I'm pulling in some Cancerian energy, Capricorn, um, maybe Aquarian energy. Um, when it, so snow time when there's snow. <laughs> wow. Maybe November, maybe October. So Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag. Hmm. Seeing this transformation, this dragonfly is also a sign. Um, so interesting enough to me, it is about beautiful transformation. Um, I think of my, my mother, my daughter even, um, and she, dragonflies make me think, she thinks of me, I don't know. Um, vice versa, it's something like that, right? Wow, how I just find it weird that the dragonfly is like, and maybe you have a crystal that has like a dragonfly in it, whether or art, or you're seeing it, you can see it. And then the fact that we have seashell and the mermaid. This is so weird. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much. I hope you've enjoyed. Check out my channel for some other videos. These were just some quick. Uh, mixed up random cards for a pick a message um these are good messages regardless I, I like all of these um feeling someone even though they're apart you're you're separated um there's a distance um and someone drinking losing their self the little fox here can also represent romance a little bit right um can also represent kind of blending in camouflage with the season even maybe is a snow fox because we got the snow and the white sending like love to someone who feels a little lost or hmm. your life is so special treat it with loving care and interesting enough bringing up malachi and uh, flying over the ocean um mermaids are clearly they're you know they're in the ocean the water um very fascinating all right thank you all so much i am going to i'm like i'm excited to finish this up i am going to do a few more of these get them uploaded um wow thank you all bye-bye